When we discuss the actions for a major fire in an attached garage, the best thing you can do is rapidly knock down the fire with a two and a half or apparatus mounted master stream. This is happening while lines are positioned to the interior through the front door to manage extension and also be present when hidden fire is exposed in the attic space or walls. Now think about your own residence. With a fire of this nature, as long as the door from the garage to the home is closed and it's a fire rated door, you'll have some time to combat the fire. This will allow you to salvage a lot of property on the inside of the house, which is critical for the civilians and the property we're trying to save. Maybe the mementos and pictures that you see in these pictures won't be destroyed, as you see these two examples of the power of controlling and managing the door. As you see from this next example, everything looks normal in this room. It's a standard room in a house, and as the camera pans around, you'll see the door to this room, which is mostly burnt up, and then everything on the other side of that door is destroyed. This is a good example of why door control is important, not only in your own residence when you sleep, but also when you're doing evolutions such as vent, enter, and search. It reinforces why the first thing you should do is get to that door of that room, control the door, and then search that room. To be totally effective on the engine, you should have a very firm grasp of how long your water will last when you're flowing your fire lines. In this picture, you'll see a test that was conducted on engine 12 with this 500 gallon tank. This chart was made by flowing the lines with, until there was no water left coming out at the other end. Obviously a worst case scenario, and if you have water problems, you need to dump the tank on a major fire, or you have supply issues, it's always nice to know how much water you have at full flow from the various size fire lines you can use. In this chart you'll see the inch and three quarter with the 15 16 inch tip flowing between 185 and 200 gallons a minute lasted about two and a half minutes. The inch and three quarter line with the orange 250 at 50 psi Elkhart nozzle lasted about two minutes and 20 seconds. A two and a half with an inch and an eighth tip lasted one minute and 55 seconds flowing well over 300 gallons a minute the two and a half with the inch and a quarter tip lasted about a minute and 40 seconds, again flowing well over 300 gallons a minute. And then the master stream with the inch and a half tip attached lasted about 50 seconds. What this chart does is prove that it's important to know how much water you have and that your water will last a long time from the tank. And don't be afraid to start operations and put water on the fire while the FAO or another firefighter helps hook up the hydrant or supply line. With adequate practice, all steps to achieve quick knockdown of a fire, as seen in the next few videos, can be accomplished quite rapidly. See a two and a half inch here operating on this single wide garage fire, and as you look at the rest of the video, you'll notice there's not smoke or any other evidence of fire from the rest of the house. So the door is controlled between these two parts of this occupancy. In this video you'll see a larger garage, a two-car garage, with a lot more fire involving that space. What you'll see here is they're operating an inch and three-quarter line. While this may seem easier for the firefighters, it's providing much less water. When you have more than one car wide of a garage, you should consider using a two-and-a-half or the deck gun to knock down the major fire in a more quick and efficient manner. You'll see as we watch the rest of this video, it takes some time to finally knock out the fire in the rest of this video allowing it to extend up into the attic. This video is not a garage, but it's a two and a half inch operated in the sitting or kneeling position by one firefighter and you'll notice the large volume of fire is knocked down quite rapidly in less than 15 seconds by one firefighter. Again, another two-car garage with a decent amount of fire and the use of a single firefighter with an inch and three-quarter. A two and a half here would be much more effective. As this garage fire video gets knocked down, you'll see that the conditions in the attic and the eaves gets much better. The door is more than likely still controlled between the house and the garage. 
Another critical thing to consider is if you enter that garage and the door is not falling off like it is here, it's not held up very well and it will likely fall down. So you need to secure it or just go ahead and knock it off before you get people underneath it. And lastly, since we're talking about tank water and large volumes of fire, this is just a quick knockdown with the deck gun and a two-story with attic wood frame that's got heavy fire involvement on the first floor. You'll notice that it doesn't take very long with that deck gun to knock the life out of this fire as hose lines are stretched and then interior operations can commence. In this video, it's another quick reinforcement of the need for door control. To isolate the fire. You can see how rapidly the conditions will change in the hallway or the space you're in with the door not being controlled. And to end this, make sure that as you get inside these buildings where the garage has been on fire and you open up that you have a hose line available to put water in those attic spaces.